We are approaching our seventh year for FGO Global, which is just insane that we've been playing this game for almost seven years. Seems to say, last year, 2023 had some of the best servants in the game, since many were S-tier units like Vich, Oberon, and Morgan, fan favorites like Muramasa, and many, many others. But this year, we're getting some pretty amazing servants as well. How's it going, everyone? This is Kay. Let's break down all the servant banners you can expect for this year. As always, these dates are from JP, and obviously, dates will be different, and we may not get some minor banners. On top of that, some banners may shift around, like our traditional Thanksgiving banner. Regardless, this is what we can expect. Many, many salty tears were shed during the New Year's, but I hope most of you got what you want. Konyu and Skya Dark will not return as a raid-up servant until New Year's 2025. She will be on GSSR banners, though. Comment down below to let me know which 5-star servant you got on the GSSR banner, though. Konyu Skya Light returned, so many players had the opportunity to pull for her. Rainus Case Files returned, so we'll get a new 4-star Pretender servant. She isn't limited, but a perfect chance to pull for her since there is a raid up. Edmund Dantes fans rejoice since he will be coming back towards the end of January. He'll have another banner this year though, so if you want to save for him later, that's perfectly fine. Along with that, we'll get an Arjuna and Karna banner, which I'm pretty sure most people will skip. A cool banner featuring Ishtar and Aresh will be up afterwards. Personally, I still don't have an Archer Ishtar yet, so I may throw a few Saint Courts to get her. Not like a few Saint Courts is enough though, since she is a greedy goddess. We'll get a pre-release Valentine banner featuring previous Valentine servants, but on the official event, we'll get Bazette as the new featured 5-star servant, and she's pretty cool. If you're a huge fan of the character, then obviously you're going to summon her, but she's quite fun to use as she specializes in counter attacks, which is very unique in the game. And Karen will get get a rerun so those who missed her last year will get another chance. After the Valentine event, we'll get a Seraph banner with Melt and King Protea. As tradition, after Valentine is the Caldea Boys event, we're getting two banners, Arjuna Altar, then Merlin several days later. FGO is preparing us for Lost Belt 7, and we'll get several banners throughout the year featuring the main servants within previous Lost Belts, starting with the first one. I'd consider these baits, but if there is a servant you absolutely love, then 100% go for them. The Battle in New York event will feature Odysseus and Tesla, and of course, the Golden Boy himself. Lost Belt 2 banners will be out afterwards, and this will have Scotty, which I still highly recommend for people who don't have her yet. Sure, to most, Quick is outshined by Arts and Buster, but Scotty is still pretty good, especially since her summer version is coming out too. The Sea Monster Crisis event will have the Trunk Sisters along with Summer Melt, but Morgan will return during this event, and I know she's one of the most wanted servants in FGO, so this will be the perfect opportunity to get her. Afterwards, the Learning with Manga pre-release will feature some previous limited servants. The main event should start during April, and we'll have Super Bunyan as the limited 5-star servant, along with the two mice which are limited 4-stars, but Mary will be a limited 1-star servant that you could pull for on the Friend Point banner, so be sure to save up for her. Castoria will return once again during a download achievement campaign, and there's a second banner that will feature other limited servants that will rotate each day. Constantine will arrive during the Trom pre-release campaign. He's going to be limited so pull for him if you want him, otherwise you will have to wait for the 8th anniversary banners for a raid up. Second part of the pre-release will have Tai Gong, then finally we'll get the Lost Belt 6.5 chapter, which will feature a lot of new servants. One being Charlemagne, who is my most wanted servant for this year. If you played Extella Link, you know how awesome he was. So we'll have 3 banners for this chapter. Creamhild is a 4-star Storylock servant, but Roland is not. On the second banner, we'll have a new 3-star servant and another new Storylocked 4-star. James Moriarty Ruler will be the limited 5-star. For the third banner, Sherlock Holmes will return. The Grail Front event will have both Janako and Summer BB as right up. Afterwards, the Lost Belt 3 banners will be up, but don't spend too much because we'll have the Hakuden event, which will also have new servants. Banner 1 will have a new limited 5-star rider, Kyokute, along with Lobo and Izo as the raid up 4 and 3 stars. Shortly after, a new 5-star archer, Tametomo, will be released. He isn't limited and can spook your future polls, but he looks really amazing, so I personally may want to throw a few sync words on him. Kama and Kiara will return, but don't fall for the bait. 
The seventh anniversary is near and we'll get a pre-release banner that features several summer servants. The main highlight, however, is the seventh anniversary itself, with Archetype Earth being the raid up servant. I know there's lots of Tsukihime fans who would sell their kidney to pull for her, so start saving those same cords. Of course, we'll also receive a GSSR banner, and there will be 20 different banners to choose from. It's broken into classes, with each class split even further, making it easier to obtain the five star you want. For example, you'll get Saber 1 and Saber 2 banners to choose from. Other limited servants will also be available on a rotating schedule. After killing your wallets, we'll have the new summer event where we'll get a free summer Valkyrie servant as the event character. So naturally, FGL likes to break our banks even further by releasing another most wanted servant. This time it's Proto Merlin, who is an amazing art support by the way. So the question is, skip the anniversary banner or waste everything and potentially lose out on getting Merlin. A tough decision, unless the gacha gods bless you with EX luck and you pull both. Summer Gareth will be the limited 4 star on that banner and there will be a male summer banner but it's bait. That's because the goddess of arts DPS Summer Ibuki will be released. She is the highest tier arts damage dealer and spammer you can get in the game. AoE arts that removes defensive buffs like invincibility and evade, self damage buffs and NP generation along with NP battery. She's godly so I'll pull for her. Now if you think your wallets are safe, well I have some bad news because Summer Scotty will be the third banner servant. She is yet another S tier servant and can benefit quick teams even further. Now, she's not on the same level as Castoria or Vich, but Summer Scotty is more or less on the same level as OG Scotty, with differences, of course. Okay, so after all that, we at least get to have a slight break. There's a Melty Blood banner, but I'm not sure if we're really going to get this. It's bait regardless because there are no servant raid ups, it's just raid ups for limited mash craft essence. Just a heads up, I said bait a lot during this video for old returning characters characters or banners that I personally think has low value, but if there is a banner you really want to pull on, then it's not bait, then go for it. We are going to get the last year's summer banners, so if you missed out on them, here's your second chance. Next comes another download campaign where several limited servants are returning, then we'll get the Lost Belt 4 banners and we'll have Arjuna Altar again. The new Guda Guda event will give us a free EO. There will be two Guda banners, the new one will feature Seno Riku as the 5 star, while the second banner will feature old Guda servants on a rotating schedule. Atlantis banner will be up as we're heading towards Lost Belt 7. Naturally, we'll get the Olympus banner as well. As tradition, we'll get a Halloween event with a new free Liz servant. Huyan Zhou will be the limited 5 star servant. The rate up 4 star on the banner is not limited. Halloween banner 2 will have returning characters. And then we'll have Imaginary Scramble interlude campaign, which will have Nemo and Van Gogh. We'll get a special Singularity banner that will have some of the main servants as raid ups. This extends to the Epic of Remnant storyline, and Dantes will have another raid up since he's technically an important servant throughout the first part of FGO. Nearing the end, we'll have the Fairy Cup event starting with a pre release that will have Morgan. The official event will have Brutamart on the first banner, as well as Fairy Knight Gwen and Tristan. Banner 2 will have Charlemagne again, while Banner 3 will have older characters. Lost Belt 6 banner will give players another chance to pull for Castoria, while the second part of Lost Belt 6 will have Muramasa, Oberon, and Melusine, all top tier servants by the way. We'll get a Christmas rerun, then we'll also get a Melty Blood banner, again I don't think we're really going to get this. There's going to be a Fate Lost Encore banner with Nero Bride and OG Nero. At this point, there isn't really any strong banners left, but we'll get another Ruler Moriarty banner. Then the year will end off with Lost Belt 7's release, which will not have any banners upon release to avoid spoilers, I believe. Lost Belt 7 servants will come out next year. Speaking about next year, the New Year's servant for 2025 will be Rasputin. Overall, 2024 will have amazing servants, especially towards the anniversary and summer event. New servants this year aren't on the same level as last year's in terms of how broken they are, you know, Vig, Oberon, Morgan, Melusun, and so on. But we'll still get top tier servants. What's important about this year is that on top of those amazing new servants, many of those OP servants that I mentioned are returning. This gives players another chance to get them instead of waiting so long. Older servants like Castoria, Skadi, and many more are reappearing. So 2024 is going to be a great year. But comment down below to let me know who are your top three servants for this year. For me, it's Charlemagne. Proto Merlin, and then Summer Ibuki. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. Good luck on your pose, everyone. Till next time.